Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome to Sprint Planning Demo Part 2. In the last part of the demo, I showed you a little bit about assigning requirements into an iteration, but I mostly spent time setting up the list of iterations. In this part of the demo, I'll talk some more about pulling PBIs into a sprint, and I'll show you how to set up some views that'll help you manage everything and keep it making sense while you're doing sprint planning. Let's get started. When I'm doing sprint planning with GitHub projects, I find myself creating a bunch of custom views to help out. Across the top, all these tabs are views. The first view that I want to create is one that helps me see the contents of the next sprint or next iteration. I'm gonna use the existing current iteration view as my starting point. As you can see right now, this is empty. The query or filter is set to be iteration equals current. So this is showing us the contents of the current query. The at current variable uses the dates in the iterations to decide what the current iteration is, and then filters the contents of this view. If this weren't a demo and your team had been working together for a while, this view would probably be filled up with stuff, stuff that you'll definitely wanna keep separated. So to get going on that next sprint view, I'm going to open the menu for current iteration and come down in the menu to duplicate view. Choosing that gets us a new view that gets a auto-generated name. In this case, view six. First, let's fix the name. Open the menu for view six, and then let's see, come down here and go to rename view, which is right above duplicate view. Gives us this dialog, and let's change it to say next sprint, and then click save. And now this tab has a new name. Since we did a duplicate operation to get this, the filter is still set to iteration current. So let's change that. Highlight the at current and erase it. And that should bring up this list of options. At current is just one of the options. There's also next, previous, and a couple of other options. The one we want is next, so I'll pick that. And then don't forget to click save on the view. Okay, so now we have our view for the sprint and briefly reminding you what this demo is actually all about since I've got this weird feeling that I've kind of gone slightly off the rails here. We're working on sprint planning. So we want to pick product backlog items requirements for this sprint. And so now that we've got this view here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go pick those PBIs. So we'll go bounce back over to the product backlog view. This is a list of all the requirements in our backlog. And let's say the team is considering doing the first four PBIs in the backlog as part of this sprint. And now let's add the items that we wanna do in the next sprint to that next sprint iteration. Pull the dropdown for the iteration field. And the iteration we want is not the current one, so not iteration two. We want iteration three. Now that we have that PBI in iteration three, we can do the fill down trick. Those PBIs are now part of the next iteration, AKA, sprint. So let's go to the new next sprint view that we created. And here are all the PBIs for the sprint. And with that, we've taken care of half of the stuff we do in sprint planning, the what are we gonna do part of the meeting. Now, as a disclaimer, in real life, deciding which PBIs you'll do is probably a whole lot more work and discussion and strategy. This demo was mostly just about tooling. In real life, you'll probably have a lot of stuff to talk about. Anyway, that's part two of the sprint planning meeting demo. In the next part, I'm gonna show you how to create tasks for these PBIs. Thanks for watching, stay tuned.